Hello and welcome to Linux in tutorial. Today we are going to answer the question what actually is a Linux system call? Well put in simple words a Linux system call can be defined as a programmatic way a program requests a service from the kernel. You may think what is a kernel? Well the Linux kernel is a specialized program that boots and runs at the lowest available level on your hardware. It has the task of orchestrating everything that runs on the computer including handling keyboard, disk and network events and even providing time slices for executing multiple programs in parallel to each other. When the kernel executes a user level program, it virtualizes the memory space so that the programs believe that they are the only process running inside the memory. This protective bubble of hardware and software isolation increases security and reliability. An unprivileged application cannot access memory belonging to other programs and if that program crashes, the kernel comes to a halt. This is done with the sole purpose that the crash cannot harm the rest of the system. An operating system can roughly be divided into two modes. The first one being the kernel mode and the second one being the user mode. The kernel mode is a privileged and powerful mode that is used by the operating system's kernel. While the user mode is where most of the user applications are executed. Users mostly work with command line utilities and graphical user interfaces to do day-to-day -day tasks while system calls work silently in the background and interfere with the kernel to get work done. System calls are very similar to functional calls, which means that they accept and work on arguments and return some kind of value. The only difference between the system call and the function call is that the system call can enter inside the kernel while the function call cannot enter the kernel. If we talk about the different categories of system calls, then system calls can be divided into five major categories. These categories are namely process control calls, file management calls, device management calls, information maintenance calls, and communication calls. The first one is the process control call. These system calls perform the task of process creation, process termination, and so on. The Linux system calls under this category are fork, exit, and exec or execute. The second category is file management calls. The file management system calls handle file manipulation jobs like creating a file, reading a file and writing to a file. The Linux system calls under this category are open, read, write, close. Next up we have the device management calls. Device management calls do the job of device manipulation like reading from a device buffer and writing into a device buffer. The Linux system call under this category is IOCTL which stands for input output control call. Next up we have the information maintenance calls. These calls handle information and its transfer between the operating system and the user program. In addition, operating system keeps the information about all its processes and system calls are used to access this particular information. The system calls under this category are get PID which stands for get program ID, alarm and sleep. The last category is communication calls. These system calls are specially used for inter-process communications. Two models are used for this inter-process communication. One being the message passing and the second one being the shared memory. The system calls under this category are pipe, shm get and mmap. Well that is all for the basic understanding of Linux system calls. But remember since we are going to be working with C programming language to demonstrate all these system calls. You should know that every function in a program that interacts with the system is eventually translated into a system call. In nearly all cases you won't ever have to make a direct system call into C program. However, for optimization purposes, it would be best to let the C library functions make the system calls and have only your performance critical code embedded inside the assembly directives. That is it for this video. Stay tuned to learn more about system calls and how to use them in C programming language. Thank you.